vacation in the wild, which is co-authored by Liang Zhen, Heng Heng Zhang, Shao Yan Sun, Man Mohan Chandrakar, Yi Yang, and Qi Tian. First, let me briefly introduce the task of person re-ID. In this task, we aim at finding a query person from a large gallery. We wish to rank the true match on top ranks of the return rank list. Previously, we have released two large-scale re-ID re data sets, which are Market 1501 and Mars. They focus on image-based and video-based re-ID. Re Respectively, here are some samples of the, our data sets. So, however, both data sets assume that the gallery is given, but in practice, the gallery usually varies when different pedestrian detectors are applied. Although it's well known that person ID is closely related to pedestrian detection, the two tasks have been separately studied. Therefore, much needs to be known how person ID and pedestrian detection uh, affect each other. In this work, we explore the interactions between pedestrian detection and person ID by solving two questions. That is, how to evaluate pedestrian detection under the application of re-ID, and how can pedestrian detection assist a person re-ID this paper will share our findings with the community. So, uh, all right. so here is the pipeline of a practical person ID system. The system has two inputs, a query person and some raw video frames. The output is a rank list. During the offline stage, pedestrian detection is performed on the raw videos. The resulting bounding boxes form the gallery. Given the query image, the gallery images will be ranked according to their similarity to the query. The first contribution of our paper is a new data set called PRW. It consists of over 11,000 video frames with over 900 different identities. We have annotated all the bounding boxes in these frames. So there are more than 34,000 labeled bounding boxes in total. So this is our, all right. Hold on. Yeah, as you can see, this is our annotation interface. Uh, in each frame, a bounding box is labeled every pedestrian with a unique ID. If someone's ID is not sure, we assign minus two, and this ID will not be evaluated in re-ID, but still used in pedestrian detection. The first finding is that the pedestrian detectors should be evaluated under IUU greater than 0.7 instead of 0.5 for re-ID. The localization quality of a bounding box matters so that a poor one may compromise re-ID accuracy. So this is our experimental results. The first row shows precision recall of various detectors with IOU greater than 0.5 and 0.7. In the second row, we show the re-ID performance of different detectors. We find that the result is consistent with detection performance under IOU greater than 0.7. Our second finding is that when detection scores are combined with re-ID scores, uh, Re-ID is more robust to detection errors. This finding provides some insights on how pedestrian detection can help person Re-ID. Okay, as you can see from the results here, when the gallery gets larger, which means more boxes per, uh, per frame, Re-ID results may drop due to more distractors. Using our method, Re-ID accuracy will remain stable against the inclusion of more distractors. So that's it for my presentation today. Thank you.